Ken, we're specifically looking here at machining ports. So let's have a look at the part, but I'd be interested to know how, well, how long it takes. Uh, it's roughly 20 minutes to program all of the ports on this component using Hypermill. And uh, when we say ports, it, I mean, is it specifically down to ports or is there other types of machining processes that you would include in that? Uh, when, we're, when we're talking about ports, the, the strategy is the five axis tube finishing within Hypermill. And it's suitable for basically you know, complex undercut situations where you want to get one tool path to machine you know, the entire you know, pocket or area without any, any retracts. Now this is very kind of engine related. So going back years ago, how, how would they have done the machining of a port then? Uh, it's quite common to see um, be machined on a fourth axis where you would just tip the component, do what you can see, then take the tool out, tip, tip it again, and then again do what you can see in that area. That sounds an extremely sort of kind of convoluted. You'd have a lot of surface finish issues with that, wouldn't you? Yeah, it would look quite quite patchy. You would see the transition marks, whereas the beauty of doing it in five axis with one tool path is you you eradicate all of those issues with getting your blends. So it's not just about the saving in the programming, but we're also talking about a massive difference in the the finished article. That's right. Yeah. So it's all you know. So getting the best best surface quality, just one tool path stays on the job until till it gets down to the bottom. Very very interesting. Uh, the surface finish does look fantastic, actually. And um, yeah, interesting to know. Thanks, Ken. Thank you.